Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video review of The Selfish Meme, a book by Kate Distin. Um, don't be put off by the title. Um, the book itself is actually a relatively serious philosophical treatise on the subjects of memes and memetics. Um, my first impressions of the book came reading the introduction, so I'll quote briefly from the section that I'm referring to. Um, some of the best-known names in the field, in particular Daniel Dennett and Susan Blackmore, believe that the meme theory will completely overturn our traditional notions of responsibility and creativity and intentionality, just as many have taken the Darwinian revolution in biology to have overturned traditional notions of a creative god. On their view, what we think, what we call our minds, with all their apparent powers of thought, decision-making and invention, are actually parasitic meme complexes, our sense of control over which is illusory. If our mental and cultural lives are the results of a mindless evolutionary algorithm, they argue, then how can we claim an autonomous identity as independent selves with freedom and control over what goes on in their lives? Um, at that point, my heart sank a bit. I felt as though the rest of the book was like to be a tirade on that topic, and it's not a topic which interests me particularly. Um, also, I felt as though um, Kate may have got hold of the wrong end of the stick regarding Daniel Dennett's views a little. Um, he went on to write a book called Freedom Evolves, which is basically claiming the opposite of what Kate's saying he believes, um, claiming that humans do have free will. Um, so I was a bit concerned she was going to attack a straw man there. Um, however, the rest of the book turns out to be um, a ramble through um, various different areas of memetics. Kate gives her views, gives the views of other people who she disagrees with, and then explains why she thinks she's right and they're wrong. Um, and so um, the first people she takes on are Richard Dawkins, Daniel Dennett, and Susan Blackmore. So to start with um, her criticism of Richard Dawkins, um, she says... Um, I shall argue that memes are more like viruses than genes, in that they do not generate their own survival machines. In contrast to genes, which, in conjunction with an appropriate environment, generate survival machines that may be hijacked by biological viruses, memes do not create the replicative mechanisms by which they produce their phenotypic effects, and thus there is nothing for a purported mental virus to hijack. If this is true, then there is no genuine analogue for viruses in culture. Memes are only more like viruses than genes, in that they do not generate survival machines, not in that they are the hijackers of some other system. Rather, Dawkins has made the mistake of overextending his meme hypothesis in an attempt to embrace what is an inessential detail of biological evolution. Um, she's criticising there Dawkins' um, characterisation of religion as being a mental virus. Um, and um, her, her claim, um, she, she doesn't like the um, analogy between um, memes and genes, and would prefer it to be an analogy between um, memes and viruses in some respects. And um, I take her point to some extent that um, memes um, don't, produce phenotypic effects in quite the same way um, that genes do, in that they're dependent, more dependent on um, hijacking the resources of other organisms. Um, however, even um, genes um, are dependent on a surrounding ecosystem. Um, human genes don't produce the human body um, without the context of a surrounding ecosystem. Um, they're dependent on lettuces and cabbages and so on in order to um, produce their phenotypic effects. And so I don't see that as a terribly serious point of um, disanalogy between um, DNA genes and memes. Um, so um, I found myself siding with Richard Dawkins basically on the issue of her criticism there. Um, her next um, target is Daniel Dennett, and I agree with Daniel Dennett about almost everything, even um, anyway. To, um, Here's what she has to say about Daniel Dennett. Um, to recapitulate, Dennett confuses memes' effects with their interactors. In reality, selection acts on replicators' phenotypic effects, but replication happens via their interactors. In many cases, the two overlap, but not always. Dennett refers to phenotypic effects, which are actually the product of memes, in terms that imply that they are also the source of those memes, their interactors. An artifact cannot usually fulfil the role that he assigns to it, that of an interactor, since it contains no representation of the information to be copied. In particular, it carries no information about the differences between itself and other artifacts within its general category. Consequently, then it is mistaken in thinking that artifacts are the sources of memes rather than their effects. Conversely, therefore, he must be equally mistaken thinking that the mind is the effect of memes rather than their source. Um, and once again, I basically found myself siding with um, Daniel Dennett um, against um, Kate, Kate's point of view. Um, she, she argues in this section of her book that memes do not find their ex expression in physical objects, um, such as books or CDs, um, because they can't 
or there's no information in those objects about which features are essential and which features are incidental. And um, she gives various examples of that. Um, but um, I don't think that's right. The books and CDs do effectively contain um, information about um, what's essential and what's not, or at least they do in the context in which they're found. Um, so, yeah, they do contain all the relevant information, basically. Um, so um, I found myself more on Daniel Dennett's side there. So, um, again, I found myself disagreeing with Kate. Um, next, her target was um, Susan Blackmore. Um, here's how she introduces her section on Susan. Um, one of the most celebrated common on the meme hypothesis has been provided by the psychologist Susan Blackmore in her 1999 book The Meme Machine. Blackmore, like Dawkins and Dennett, accepts the distinction between virus and replicator is as valid in culture as in biology. Like Dennett too, she believes that the mind is a meme complex. It is um, um, impossible to untangle this mistake from various other strands of Blackmore's thesis, just as it remains inextricably linked with Dennett's confused perception of vehicles and phenotypes, and with Dawkins' erroneous overextension of the virus replicator distinction, and thus I shall challenge the elements of Blackmore's thought which lead her to share Dennett's view. Um, and um, basically Kate criticises um, Blackmore's distinction between copying the product and copying the instructions. Um, I don't have any particular problem with that. Um, or I, I agree with Blackmore's views there, basically. Um, she doesn't like Blackmore's idea of mimetic drive, the idea that um, memes change the um, environment in which genes are selected. And again, um, I'm on Blackmore's side. So at this stage, um, she, Kate seems to have had pot shots at all the um, major figures in mimetics, and on each time, uh, um, I seem to be more sympathetic towards the idea she's criticising than towards her criticisms. Um, she then goes on to talk about Sperber, um, who criticises memes, um, and I more or less agreed with her there. Um, and then she went on to talk about um, Boyd and Richardson, um, and she focuses on their um, criticisms of mimetics, um, and I agreed with her there as well. Um, and the rest of the book um, didn't find so many points of disagreement. Um, but, um, yeah, so um, my general impression, though, was that Kate doesn't really go in for sympathetic reading to the extent that she should do and as a result she's prone to attacking um, straw men which are mainly the result of her own over literal interpretation of what other people are writing so um, my counsel would be to, um, to try and spend a bit more time forming um, sympathetic interpretations of other people's views um, rather than um, too quickly getting hold of the wrong end of the stick um, and then um, finding a target to attack um, so, um, not a bad book, um, didn't agree with it in many relatively important places, um, but also um, too philosophical for my taste. I'm from more of an engineering and scientific background, and an awful lot of what I would describe as philosophical waffle in the book. Um, um, and yeah, um, not much humour, a um, few anecdotes, um, quite a dry style, um, and not exactly a fire hose either. Um, fairly um, spaced out and some fair number of the ideas not terribly interesting for me. Um, but anyway, not too bad. Um, worth a read. I'm happy to have um, read the book. Um, if you're contemplating a book on memetics, then maybe try Dawkins and Dennett and Susan Blackmore and um, Boyden Richardson's popular works on the subject um, first of all, before trying Kate. But um, anyway, um, here's my review of The Selfish Meme. Um, enjoy.